So let's look at tying a clove hitch. And I'm going to use a fender as an example. A clove hitch can be used as a nice easy knot to quickly secure a fender to the side of the boat. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop it down just so that it gets to just short of touching the water. That's a nice height. And then I can start by taking my rope line and placing it over the bar. I'm going to wrap it all the way around. But as I wrap it round, I'm going to cross over the original line that goes down to the fender. Keep wrapping it round now the other side. And then finally bring the tail back up between the bar and that diagonal cross section of line that you've created. Keep it nice and tight. And then we've produced a clove hitch. So it's a nice, simple, quick knot to tie. The only thing to bear in mind with this is it's not a very secure knot. So there is the risk of it actually coming loose. As your fender bashes around on the boat, there is the risk of this actually gradually pulling loose. Not so much with my long line, but possibly with a shorter line. Let's have a look at that clove hitch again. A bit of a close up this time. Let's just untie it first. So, from the beginning, take my line around the bar, and then I start to wrap it round, almost in a turn, but as I go all the way around, I make sure that I cross over. Then bringing the line around again, on the other side this time, we've pulled it up through and form that quite distinctive crossover image. Again, not a very long-term secure knot, but enough to tie a fender on once. Let's do it one more time. To untie it. So we start from here, wrap it round, cross over the line as it comes round, continue to come round and take the tail up through the cross. Let's do it one more time, this time from on the boat. And it's a good idea to practice it both sides because you're going to have to tie it from both sides. So, I look over the side, drop the fender down to where I want it, place the line over the rail, bring it round, but cross over as I go. Take it round again, and this time, feeding the end of the line back underneath that cross. There we go, nice and tight. 